All right, how's it going? King of the Zeds here. Welcome back to Project Wasteland. I've just spent the last couple of hours in game sorting out my inventory from our little jaunt out to the uh, to the snow city, and I've had to increase my storage. So up here we've got mods. We've split out the armor from what used to be in here, weapons and ammo, and basically that's about it, really. Uh, just put all our food away and everything, but. What I do want to do before we head out and start looking for some more rotting flesh and nitrate so we can get some crop plots crafted and planted is open this auto shotgun legendary bundle that we picked up yesterday. So here we go, fanfare please. There we go, that's it, all right. <laughs> I thought that was going to maybe have a few more items in there, I suppose, but I mean, level six auto shotgun, who can complain at that? So. Let's uh, take our mods off of here and stick them on here. One, two, three. Oh no, hang on, what have I done? Why am I holding that? Uh, this one. <laughs> oh no, that doesn't go on for some reason. What is that? Tube extender mod. Okay, we can't use the tube extender on the auto shotgun. I suppose that's fair enough. I'm pretty sure I've used it before though. Okay. Well, we'll leave that on this one then. So, modify, stick that back on there. Let's put that gun in this cupboard here. Now, do we have any other mods that can go on here? Probably not. Not even sure what really does go on there. Muzzle brake, not likely. Wouldn't have thought. Don't really want to scope. That's probably about it. We don't need to go full auto. Imagine that. If a full auto mod would go on there. Oh, it does. Holy shit. Does that mean this is going to do what I think it does? Yes, it does. Literally full auto shotgun now. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get out and test it, I suppose. So just making sure I've got some medical, got a bit of food, got no drink. All right, I'll, I'll just sort my uh, shit out and then I'll see you out on the road. All right, we're gonna need to pick up some fuel. I've just realized I've forgotten to get any from upstairs. Um, but I've just marked a flag over here where I spotted some nitrate on the map. So we're going to check that first. Grab a bit of nitrate and then see if any bears turn up. And if they don't, we can go on a little hunt. Okay, that's a bit better. 80% fuel, so all looking good. Fucking hell, I don't know what's going on here, but there's no zombies, no bears, nothing. The place is dead. I guess we just keep looking. There's one. Don't know if I'm brave enough to take him on with the shotgun yet. Let's find out if uh, maybe. Okay, that took quite a few, <laughs> quite a few hits. But 50 shit you meet, that'll do nicely. Does he give us meat? Yes, not a lot. Still, enough for a crop plot. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, look at that, there's an airdrop over there. Be rude not to. Let's go and uh, make that our next waypoint. All 
already what we got. And oh my god, look at that. 500 more steel cubes. And a couple of antibiotics. That is too good. I really, I really feel like we're getting to the point where he, we've kind of won the game now. It's just a case of uh, grinding it out until the hordes get as hard and difficult as they can possibly be. But yeah, in terms of resources, it's, it's not really any uh, anything that we haven't got or can't get anymore. There's usually some dogs in here, is there? Let's have a look. Alrighty. Let's add those couple of skill points while I'm thinking about it as well. So I think we're all quiet at the drive-in. Right, where are we? Yeah, the last couple of points I put into Master Chef. I usually take it up to here, which is where we can make. Hang on, hobo stew. Yeah. So any uh, shitty meat we've got left over from our farm plots, we can use to cook hobo stew. All the stuff after this tends to be um, stuff that uses like the rare cans of shit. So yeah, I don't normally go further than level three in here so let's have a look at where else we can put these other couple of points cardio we started to go into that i suppose two more points would finish that off let's just have a quick look parkour that's going to take too many points to um to get us up to level four which is the next good level because that's when you get to jump the extra meter um and we've got nothing over here all right, well, I guess we might as well finish off cardio. Done. All right, back on with the quest. Hang on a minute. I think I know where there's a lot of, uh, a lot of rotting flesh. This is Carl's corn and Bob's boars. So let's kill two birds with one stone here, figuratively speaking, of course. Get some meat, because there's a whole bunch of pigs in here. And at the same time, the big bastard, greasy, fucking moldy pig, Grace, I believe, should give us a fair bit of meat as well, of the shitty kind. Oh, what are you doing up there, mate? Oh. So, good meat is also valuable, of course. Oh, what? Why is it not dead? What the hell is going on? There we go, 30 meat. I was a bit worried then. <laughs> Something was uh, strange was happening. Okay. Oh, hang on, I've just realised. Is this stuff here? Oh yeah, we're getting rotting flesh out of this crack on the floor as well. Let's not forget that. Oh my god, there's heaps of it. Table or something around here. Mm. Right, let's get the good stuff before we move around. Right, who's this? Okay, now come on in. Okay, now. Any footsteps? Okay, what's the tally so far? 150 meat, 118 shitty meat. All right, the numbers are looking a bit better now. So, fucking up. What's 
in it. Oh, fucking hell, something sounds big. <laughs> Get up, I don't want to <laughs> smash the floor out. There we go. <laughs> that is pretty nice, actually, just to be able to hold your finger down on a shotgun. Okay, I think we're moving around now. Are we going that way or this way? There's no jump to make that way, I guess it's this way. So yeah, I guess we're moving around to Carl's Corn now. Uh, have we been here? I don't know. Not familiar, I think. I think we're in the next side of the building now, so that's all the pigs we're probably going to get until we go see Grace. Oh no, there are more pigs. Oh, okay. Two of the bastard things. Uh, how do we deal with this then? Shall we see if we can open this up and then tease them out? Or at least tease them to the edge. Alright, shotgun at the ready. There's another one. There's fucking pigs all over the shop. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to actually get him that w right in one shot. Uh, I think that makes it a little bit awkward to get him now. There's, there's no way of doing it through the thing. Uh, Alright, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> I tried to blast that bit of window out, but just took the wall out next to it instead. Come on. Nice two for one there. <laughs> oh, here we are. This is fucking Carl's calling. Which, unfortunately doesn't appear to have any corn in it, apart from super corn, which I've never, not once, had an actual use for. So I don't know how good that really is. This fucking shotgun, unbelievable. Feels like it's got some good distance on it as well in terms of accuracy. Sounds like there's someone there. God, sounds like there's someone everywhere. Okay, we've been there, I just saw somebody. Is he trying to get out of this door? Yeah, there we go. Hello! Oh, here they come. Let's go. Yeah, this is hip firing. from quite a distance. It's pretty accurate. Oh, this is quick. <laughs> I guess we'll see a couple of those in a minute when we get down there. <laughs> yeah, that's a super corn. I suppose I'll grab it. But I don't know what to do with it, to be honest. Is that the way through? Oh, fuck. Well, that happened <laughs> at breakneck speed. Yeah, I think this is the way down now. Oh, is that some good corn? As in, useful. Let's go grab it. Oh, no, this is super corn as well. I'm going to have to... Check. Okay, where is it? Supercorn recipes. Supercorn seed. Glue. What's the point of that? Okay. Well, I suppose if it's an ingredient in this stuff, that's... Yeah, okay, I suppose that's pretty good. Has this changed in the recent alpha? Because I don't remember it having any use other than just um, the one, like, to make a seed for itself. 
and then so you can grow more. Maybe it's just been a long time since I last looked at it. Uh, okay, we are getting somewhere now. Alright, yes, we'll take a mod rifle part. I'll get ready to dump that if we need the space. Do these guys have any stuff on them? Just one. Okay. Still worth it. Let's have a look here. Ammo. Okay, nice. Take that. And all of that as well. How much space have we got now? Fucking hell. Probably dump that. Yeah, go on, dump that and that. I've never used the testosterone ever. Okay, let's get around here. Oh no, Grace is around here somewhere. Potentially guarding the stash, but I can't quite remember if you actually have to defeat her. Oh, no, maybe not. There's nothing here. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yes, there is. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little while since, <laughs> since I've done this. I suppose once we're down, we're down. No, no getting back up. I might just go to my 762. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to need to be pretty swift here. So let's go. Easy. I guess she's a lot more scary when, uh, when you're a bit more of a newbie character. Uh, okay. Uh. 41 regular meat, okay. Well, that's news to me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who knew I had knife skills? <laughs> okay, 152 rowing flesh. 291 regular meat. That's pretty good. I'm guessing the stash is up here then. Because I was going to say a minute ago, I have a feeling that for the more newbie level character, if you can't take on the fight there with, with Grace, then I'm pretty sure I've just ran past her before. Yeah, here we go. The stash. Nice. All right, well, we've got a new problem now of uh, figuring out how the hell we're going to carry all this crap. So let's crack in and see what we're working with. Oh, and look at that. Literally the day after I get the schematic for an SMG, I get a level 6 SMG, which is nice. I'm not complaining, but... Got me all excited about making one yesterday, didn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, can't hold any of those yet. So, what else might we have to sacrifice? Um, there's not a lot here I really want to lose. Let's scrap those so I can pick up this. Feather. What's more valuable, feathers or these... Oh, okay, let's just read the books. Um, we haven't even gotten into this fucking thing yet. Okay, uh, more books, a mod. Uh, what can I just pick up there that's going to stack? I'll read the books and... Alright, I'm going to go upstairs. I've just seen the bloody time as well. Nearly nine o'clock. Uh, let's get upstairs to the bike, which should be not too far. Where is it? And, okay, let's bring the bike around. Alright, what did we leave? Nothing, nothing. Grab those. Nothing. Could have taken those books, I suppose. Alright, never mind. So, let's do it. Let's get back to base. And I think... I'll just uh, get some crafting going overnight 
And then in the morning we can uh, think about where we're going to plant our crops. Problem thinking just up on the helipad. It's pretty cool up there. Um, hopefully no birds are going to start attacking it on horde night. I don't know why they would. But um, yeah, let's get back to base. We'll get some crafting going overnight. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can plant in the morning. Okay, here we are, back at base. Let's just sort out, pop some of this uh, stuff away out of our inventory that we've been picking up. We can stick our new SMG in there for now. Right, so what is the situation with the farm plots? F-A-R-M. Wood, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, clay soil. So we've got plenty of clay soil, got plenty of wood, rotting flesh and nitrate. We have it all. Uh, is it going to be any better to do it on here? Maybe. Don't know what the numbers are, but it's going to save us time anyway. Um, come on, look at that, 35. That should be enough, isn't it? All right, let's craft <laughs> 35 of those. I assume we can plant 35 things. What's the seed? situation going to look like. Um, but, oh, we've got 10 potato seeds there, that's pretty decent already. Oh look, we've got more shitty meat. Um, let's get that away for now. Where is the corn and potatoes? So how much of all of this can we turn into seeds? 10 potato seeds, how much corn do I need to you to, to craft 10 of those? 50. Um, all right, well, if I do 15, I've got 15 seeds craft in there. Recipes, seed, five, craft. So that should give us 15 of each. I think I'll just sit here and wait for for these to, to craft, and then we'll go and stick them up on the roof. Um, actually, in the meantime, where's my food? I'm getting hungry. Um, I'm glad I picked up these uh, steel cubes because there is something I wanted to adjust on the giraffe. So how we used this before when we, <laughs> when we first came up with a stupid idea was, um, yeah, we had it on the side. It was nowhere near as high as this. We had it on the side of a three-story house, maybe four stories if you include the attic. And uh, yeah, by the time the zombies like pathed their way up to us, and demos started going off. Uh, it essentially opened up the whole side of the building so that we could use this as a viewing platform. And that was kind of the inspiration if you've seen my video for the shooting gallery uh, horde based design. That was kind of the inspiration for that. Just the idea of sitting here watching like in a Donkey Kong style um, view, just watching zombies go this way, up, that way, up, that way, and then up, and then eventually getting to the top where if they made it, without us having killed them already from here or from within positions inside the building. Then we've got like a final stand here. If they get overwhelming, we can raise the drawbridge and get them from up here. However, I am slightly concerned that the way we've got this now, especially as I'm supposed to be taking these off, um, can't quite reach that one. Let's get rid of it like that. And I don't know what happened to the sound. I, I'm slightly concerned that this, being such a big gap now, is going to break the pathing for the zombies. So I don't know if they're going to want to come all the way up to us first and try and get across here. Yeah, the pathing rules that they follow is they try to get up to our level and then they try to get to us once they've reached our height. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. So what I'm tempted to do just to complete the pathing and just so that we don't really risk that situation of the zombies being down on ground level just bashing the uh, the support columns out from the giraffe I'm just going to add one thin line of blocks here and oh, it looks like we've got some visitors and the, uh, the turrets are taken care of them so we'll, we'll leave that for now thin pole here, this pillar 0 0.025 meter middle if 
if we get that on a rotation like this then even though it's really thin zombies are still going to path via it so just by itself this is actually pretty good because as they start bundling up they're all going to knock each other off because it's really thin and they'll fall off uh, however to create some extra obstacles I'm going to put some bars like this and like this. The fact, and I have tested this before, the fact that putting the bars on these uh, poles here, the fact they have to jump over when they land, they really fuck it up. They never nail the landing and they all go falling off anyway. So this is going to be our final stand if and when the main base is breached. So the idea is we peg it out the door, come here, raise the drawbridge, and we can either shoot them from here or I can't remember where I put the hole now. Oh, it's around the side. I made a ladder. Probably need to make this a li little bit better as well. Um, or we can come up here and also have a pop at them from up here. How many crop plots have we got? 25. All right. I'm just going to sit here and uh, and wait until five more are made. And actually, while I'm waiting for that, let's see what food we can make. So I know... Oh, look at all that meat. That's good. Oh, fuck. I haven't got any water. Um, do I need water for the stews? Yes. Yeah, that needs water as well. Okay. Everything needs water. Sham chowder. Shepherd's pie. Can we make any shepherd's pie? They're pretty good. Three cans of peas. Ten lamb. Ooh, we could use some more peas then. I think I've been throwing those fucking things away, for God's sake. Alright. <laughs> Never mind. So let's get a couple of shepherd's pie on the go. What else can we do? Well, I suppose like, I've got four waters there. Might as well use what we can for now. And I'll take these jars out. Maybe get, get some more jars on the craft. Which means putting some fucking sand in the forge. Fucking hell, it's all a big juggling act at this point, isn't it? Okay, so we should be able to do hobo stew. Let's see how quickly can I start making some jars. Quite quick. Alright, let me do this to remind myself that we're doing that. Let's grab these crop plots and I've still got the seeds on me. How do we get up to the fucking roof? Oh, fuck me, I haven't even opened this luggage. <laughs> Alright, let's get this shit out of the way. Let's start planting. some CDs, so potatoes can go over here. And one, two. Nice, it's looking pretty good up here, isn't it? Okay, so where's down? There's one way. Fuck me, we've got a lot of iron. Not sure we're going to need all this now. Oh, there we go. It's morning. I'm just contemplating how much iron we've got. I don't know if we really need to make 500 more steel. Um, how many do we have? 20 in there. I mean, this should be enough for repairs on the next, after the next hoard. So I think we'll, we'll leave the iron in the forge and see what we might need it for tomorrow, or after tomorrow. Um, otherwise, let's wait for these last few jars. All right, that's it, 55. So we've got 82 glass jars. Let's turn this off. So we can go out, grab some water, and then we'll be able to come back, boil it all up. Which reminds me, um, I'll leave that food there for now. Um, let's craft another campfire. 
Actually, we might need a whole bunch. Uh, let's do like three more so we can just get that water. Um, get that water crafting as quickly as possible. So stick that there. Where else can we put, put a fucking thing? Oh. oh, look at that. Can it? Can we put that there? <laughs> that works. All right, nice one. I forgot we got these forges over here. We've got brass, more brass, and we're ever going to need clay. Oh, uh, bullet tips. Yeah, Jesus. We are looking good for stuff. I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. So, what is it? 5 a.m. on the morning of day 70. We've got the big one, day 70 horde coming up a little bit later. But we will tackle that in the next episode for now thanks as always for watching really appreciate your guys support and all your comments and likes and everything on these videos you know that really uh really means a lot you know welcoming me to the uh youtube community and everything as a as a new youtuber i really appreciate it it does does mean a lot to me so thank you guys let's catch up in the next episode on monday when we're going to take on this fucking horde all right see you then